Hallo und herzlich willkommen zum Rockpalast. Wir sind heute an einem ganz besonderen Ort, denn wir sind in einem Gotteshaus. Das ist die Kulturkirche in Köln-Nippes. Und hier finden normalerweise Taufen, Hochzeiten und natürlich ganz normale Messen statt. Aber ab und zu darf es ja auch mal richtig laut werden. Und heute Abend spielt hier eine Band aus Norwegen. Vier Mädels sind das. Sie kommen aus Oslo, haben ihr Debütalbum 2009 in Deutschland rausgebracht. Das heißt Le Pop. Und die Damen sind richtig gut. Vor allem können sie alle Instrumente spielen und sie wechseln auch gerne mal durch. Viel Spaß mit Katzenjammer.
Kirche in Köln! This is the first time Katznamer is playing in a church where there's actually a bar in the back. That's totally new for us. That would <laughs> never, ever, ever, never, ever happen in Norway. <laughs> That's why we love Germany so much! Yeah! Yeah, da da. 
work time is never ready a frantic sensation is hammering nails in your spine multiple fractions in muscle contractions will tear your mind into shreds cutting it
was a child, I was a child, sentimental and wild. Now we rest in it. Now we rest in For twelve short years, we lived out of hell and our prospered as well. Oh, my dearest. Dearest, my only portrait to remind you My wine on your old clothes My voice is staying in our piano Comme les carrioles de notre vie de nord the words that I'm haunting that I'm haunting when your heart is on your sleeve then I'll bid you my sweet adieu don't forget me don't forget
The chimes they're calling, the leaves they are falling to cover this land with their innocent lives. La 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 la, waiting in deep blue. La 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 la, up to her knees. To hands that are white. Closer each morning, it snarls at her heels and breathes down her neck. A rainbow is calling from the morning. The ties to her arms and her legs pull her down.
a new record, the longest introduction to a song ever. Do you think we can manage? guys been to a Katzenjammer concert before? <laughs> Fantastic! Then you know what to do now because now we're going to sing a song called To the Sea but if you don't know the lyrics uh, for the chorus on To the Sea you're going to learn it now because I'm going to mime it for you it's two sentences it's pretty easy the first sentence are you ready by the way? I said, are you ready? Yeah! That's more like it. It's the first sentence goes, because all I have left, left side, left, <laughs> because all I have left is the voice of the wind. <laughs> because all I have left the voice of the wind. Perfect! We don't have to practice anymore. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 
The second sentence is blowing, blowing through the door of our house. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Blowing through the door of our house. Blowing through the door of our house. Okay. The whole chorus.
It's hot up here. <laughs> the clothes are going off. It's uh, so great to be here in Köln. <laughs> now we're going to play a new song for you. White like paradise It's a diary of song The songs I used to sing of God And the love of the mountains And all what they can bring A slow motion heart In colors that were bright A lake of frozen eyes White like paradise
tonight. <laughs> we had so much fun. I hope you had the Maybe you know this song. Wir sind in der Kulturkirche in Köln-Nippes and it's a great pleasure that you are now here, Katzenjammer. Yeah. And is it special for you that you play here in a church? Yeah, we've actually never been in a church where they serve beer. <laughs> That's so normal that in Germany. And <laughs> every, usually when we have a mess, there's always... We have to just move here. <laughs> What was your first impression when you arrived uh, this afternoon and you came in, into this church? It was very sacred and beautiful and uh, the first thing that struck my mind was that we, are, we have one swear word in our uh, record and I, I'm, not, I'm not glad about Which that. Which song? <laughs> um, that's uh, Le Pop. Okay. Mm. So your album is named the same, Le yes. Pop, good. So it's the beginning of your tour. You really will be on tour for the next weeks, for the next month. And last night you played in Bielefeld in Germany, which was the kickoff of your tour. And what's it like when you know that you will be on the road for such a long time now? How do you feel about that? Uh, I feel great about it because we get to do what we love the most and 
get paid for doing it. <laughs> it's uh, it's it's about uh, just about setting your mind into uh, being on the road, and while you're there, it's okay. And when you're going home, that's okay too. So. Yes, a lot of people have the impression when four girls are in one tour bus, there will be, I don't know, maybe also tension, a lot of laughter. What's that like when you are uh, together on tour? Uh, it's, tell me a little bit about the atmosphere in your tour bus. Yeah, you would love to know. <laughs> uh, no, it's, um, yeah, it's a lot of laughter, <laughs> that's true. It's a lot of chocolates. Mm -hmm. uh, um. Once a month. Uh, we are very synchronized. <laughs> synchronized? Uh, yes, once I don't say month. once a month. <laughs> One week, every month. Oh, okay, okay. And then everyone is very tired. <laughs> but not tonight, hopefully. <laughs> no. Nope. So, are men allowed in the tour bus? I know that your road manager, your tour manager, that he is a guy, but um, are there just women around? Yeah, strictly forbidden with guys. <laughs> strictly forbidden. <laughs> only the tour uh, tour manager and the sound engineer. That's the only. Or and the and the, the driver, driver, of course. Of course. Yeah. But he always sleeps when we were up, so it's okay. <laughs> But 2009 was a very special and successful year for you. You played uh, in the U.S. You played the South by Southwest festival. David Byrne invited you to uh, his festival, and you were the supporting act of Keen. Um, what will be the most special thing in 2010? What are you looking forward to besides this gig tonight here? I really do look forward to uh, Lilith Fair. Uh, it's a festival, a week festival, touring uh, around with uh, people like uh, Emily Harris, um, Nora Jones, Erika Badu. Badu, Cheryl Crow. Yeah. <laughs> so this will be also happening in the US, so you will be touring a lot in the US. Um, how did you manage it to, to really get so successful also in, in the US? That was... Uh, well, I don't know how we got, got so successful, but we started off playing at South by Southwest in the street. Um, you were not invited, so you just brought your instruments and you were playing there? Well, we had one gig. We thought we had one gig and uh, we were going for that. But, uh, but we played every day in the street, acoustic, with no money, and just played. And people were crowding around us. And everybody went to our concert. And then we got more concerts. And then National Geographic came along and invited us to play on their scene, on their stage, I mean. And, uh, and a couple of people saw us and invited us uh, to Bonnaroo Festival. Yes, and so on. It just um, expanded after that. <laughs> Yeah, because also this year your album will be also released in the US and you have no major company. Is that easier or how would you describe really also the development of the band, of, of your situation? Well, that's hard to answer because uh, we kind of just play and uh, hope that as many people as possible come to our show, buy a record. And uh, I think so far the way we've done it has worked. So I think we're just going to continue doing it as we do. Just never say no to a gig, play whenever, wherever we can, uh, for everybody. No crowd is small or too big enough, so. What do you like most about your job and what is maybe not so nice? I think what I like the most is uh, making people happy. Because you can tell, by now people are happy when they come in because they know what to expect, sort of. And they, they're even more happy when they get out. Uh, just uh, having an influence on people is, Uh, an amazing feeling. What is not so nice? <laughs> <laughs> we have to wait a lot. It's like um, you have to wait uh, for the sound check, and and afterwards you have to wait for dinner. You have to wait, 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 wait ev for everything. But that's uh, just a part of the job. So it's okay. We do do something else. Mm -hmm. But um, that's the first thing that crossed my mind when you said that. Mm -hmm. uh, so how do you try to use that time? Do you read? Do you write emails? Yoga. What is yoga? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And uh, yeah. Well, you all uh, look in very good shape. So uh, yoga is thank one you, thing. Yeah. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. And I I chocolate okay. when I wait. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Like uh, tons of it, or <laughs> yes. 
<laughs> Tanz. <laughs> Makes you happy, good. Um, you started your band in uh, 2005 and um, can you tell me a little bit about the development also of your sound? Because when I read through your booklet of, the, um, of uh, your recent album, of your debut album, most of the songs were written by Mats Rubo, that's him. And um, how did he create your sound or was it you or was it a mixture? Can you explain? We created our sound, definitely. He came with a core of a song, like he uh, played a guitar and sang a melody. And you can do tons of things just with a melody. So we uh, arranged everything and, um, and made our special sound. Not, we didn't do it on purpose, but, and we didn't have any restrictions, so we just played around with w w whatever instruments we thought would be suitable for that song. And yeah, with no restrictions, you end up with 50 instruments. <laughs> <laughs> you switch these I instruments all the time. Um, why are you doing this? Because it's fun. Uh, it wasn't uh, it wasn't on purpose to begin with. It was more like, hey, yeah, we need a banjo. Okay, I'll play the banjo. And hey, I want to learn how to play the bass. And then we just started off by having fun. And uh, we figured that it's uh, such an important part of our uh, vitality as a band. Because as a uh, regular band, you might get tired of standing on the same position. I don't know, but you might. But we don't ever get tired of playing shows because, hey, I'm going to play the accordion. Oh, next one is the Glockenspiel. Or, uh, so it keeps our energy up, I think. From 2005 now to 2010, just five years. I mean, it probably, I don't know how for you, but it really passes by like nothing. Um, how really, how did this band really develop and your success? Can you realize that you will tour now the whole world? We are, yeah. <laughs> we we are touring, uh, well, uh, over the in the states and Europe. So it, for us, is that's the whole world. <laughs> and we did Russia as well. So uh, no, it for me it came like. Uh, um, I had to know. I can't find the word. Yeah. Norwegian sounds great for us as well. <laughs> I don't understand it, and most of us don't. Surprise! It came as a surprise to me that we are able to uh, tour all around the world, actually. Uh, but I think the reason that we are able to do that is because we have so many uh, different genres uh, and folk music from all the corners in the world. Uh, so. Some, some, something in our music touches some place in the world and everybody can relate somehow to our music. So that's probably why we can do this um, and to spread some joy. Mm. Well, thank you very much for your time that you play here at the Kulturkirche in Köln, Nippes. <laughs> yes, dann gucken wir uns jetzt noch einen Song an hier von Katzenjammer aus der Kulturkirche in Köln-Nippes. Silence, that's one threat for violence. I don't bore them. It's coming around the bend. 